Good morning, year ones, and happy Friday. I'm really excited. This is the last Friday of your home learning, and then you'll be back with us on Monday. Um, so we know that we started our letter from the crayons yesterday. So today we're going to finish it with the last few parts that we're missing. Today is the 5th of March, 2021. And today we're learning to write for our purpose. And like I said, we're putting our letter from the crayons together. So before we get started on our letters, we have a revision starter. So you need to use your year one sounds and spellings to help correct the sentence in the box. I like to draw with crayons. I like to draw with crayons. Now remember any words that are in green are words that are spelled incorrectly and you will need to use your year one sounds and spellings, tricky word spellings to help you fix it. So I'm gonna let you pause the screen and have a go at correcting the sentence and then we'll come back. Okay, welcome back. I hope you have a different colored pen or pencil that you can have a look at your work with. So I, although we love that it has a capital letter at the start, it is not the spelling of the tricky word I. We know the tricky word I, we learned it at the beginning of reception. We might've even learned it in nursery. So it's important not to get it confused with that trigraph I. I like, this is one of our phase three tricky words. We would have started learning that in September. I like, L-I-K-E has that nice split I. I like to, now this is a word to, but this to means also, what's our tricky word to? That's right, T-O. I like to draw with the, with the. Imagine my tongue is sticking out as I say that word. W, I, th, th, like thumb. There we go. That's a common mistake we make, putting our Fs where our THs need to be, but it's important that we check. I like to draw with crayons, and luckily they've already got their full stop, so well done. Give yourself a tick for every word that you were able to correct, so you could have possibly four out of four points for that one. All right, let's have a look. So yesterday we talked about writing for a purpose and when we were writing a letter, we have to include different features. So we said the address tells us where the letter is coming from. The date tells us when the letter was written. The greeting tells us who it's for. The purpose tells us why they're writing. Questions help us to get a response. So if we ask questions, then our, the people we're writing to will probably write us back. And finally, just like we say hello with our greeting, we have to say goodbye with our closing. So today for our success criteria, we're gonna be looking to see if you include the purpose and the reasons why you're writing. So we don't just write one sentence, we want to write three or four reasons. And we did a whole lesson on that earlier in the week, last week. So you know all the reasons why the crayons are upset or feeling unhappy. We're gonna ask some questions. And what I'd like to see from you is three different questions. And finally, we end with the closing. So let's go three reasons and three questions. And that means three different question marks. Fab, so let's have a look at what we wrote yesterday. So from the crayons at the Palmer Academy in Reading, England, on the 4th of March, 2021, they wrote, Dear Year Once, we are writing because we are very upset at school. So let's have a look at our new writing from today. So we were asked to give some reasons. So count them with me as I read. This is my example of what a good one looks like. So you can get some ideas from here. All our friends are gone. So that's one reason. And we haven't been used in weeks. That's two reasons. Now look at how we joined up that sentence. What kind of word did we use? And that's right, we use the conjunction and. So we're gonna be looking to see if you used and in your sentences. All our friends in God are gone and we haven't been used in weeks. Oh, exclamation point, that's important. Also, it is getting very dark inside the crayon tray and we are feeling frightened. Oh, so there we go, two more reasons. It's very dark and we're scared, we're frightened. It is so boring without any pr pretty pictures to color. My goodness, there's five reasons. See, we can add them up really quickly. You can definitely do more than three reasons. That would be even better. It is so boring without any pretty pictures to color. We miss our friends. So six reasons in those sentences. So you have to do at least three, but you could do more. You could do six. When will the students come back to school? That's one question. When? 
will we get to see, will we get to color pictures when they return? Another question. Why have you been away so long? So you can see we're using those question word starters that we talked about the other day. And then finally for our closing, your lonely friends, the crayons. We've got our closing there. Closing. So a few sentences we have to write today, remembering that we're giving three reasons at least why they're writing or why they're unhappy and asking three different questions. If you're stuck, go back to your lesson on questions from Monday, I think it was, and you will see all those lovely question starters to help you. Then we're gonna end with our closing and then you can give yourself a tick for each of those that you've completed and you'll know that you're finished your letter. Now, what would a good writer do when they finish their letter? They read it over. That's right, because we're always looking for our spellings, our year one tricky words. We're looking to see that we have capital letters and full stops. That's just something we have to do in every piece of writing. So happy writing today. I can't wait to see you share them online. And I will see you on Monday. Very exciting. All right, have a lovely weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye.